Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm bringing you some Destiny 2. Now, this video is basically going to be explaining what I'm going to be using after the Recluse gets nerfed. And it's actually a lot of things. I'm surprised how many weapons open up as options now that the Recluse is going to get nerfed. Although it's not going to get that crazy of a nerf from what I've heard or from what I've read. It doesn't seem like it's like getting this massive nerf where it's gonna destroy it it's mostly just gonna like bring it back a bit which is fine i don't really mind it as long as they don't destroy it because i still love the gun so the first one's actually gonna be a gun that i actually st have used that and I, I always have this gun right next to my recluse because it's almost exactly the same so it's called the callus mini tool the role that i ended up getting was hammer forge rifling ricochet rounds moving target and fre feeding frenzy so essentially i i'm like what two off from being recluse right here and i love this gun this gun is fire it's actually solar as well but it's honestly one of my favorite guns when it comes to pvp or pve if i ended up getting like maybe rampage i actually don't think rampage can if i ended up getting like kill clip with feeding frenzy then pr that probably would have been great uh Moving target is amazing though, so it does help you with uh, target acquisition, if I remember correctly. So in PvP, this is ex ex especially super sticky, so I really love this gun. This is actually the first gun I ever got, and then I was like, I don't really need to farm anymore. But I do think I'm going to farm a little more just so I can get like maybe Feeding Frenzy with a damage perk. That way, it can essentially be uh, re Recluse. But I love this gun. It has 41 rounds in it with my backup mag. So including backup mag, it has 41 rounds. It's reload, reload is, do is dope. I ended up getting a masterwork range on it. So that was really awesome as well. Honestly, this gun's really great. I usually never go through numbers because I don't give a shit about numbers. I'm more of a, does the gun feel fun and whatnot? So most of these guns is honestly going to come from a perspective of, is the gun fun to use? I'm not like other content creators where it's like, this is the most optimal loadout. I don't care about that. I'm more into like, is the gun fun? And does it do like enough damage where I'm like, I can, I can justify using this. Callus Mini Tool is exactly that for me. I, with the 41 rounds, I can really mow down everything. And with Feeding Frenzy, I can reload as well, fast, faster. If I'm doing PVP, Moving Target is excellent. And Feeding Frenzy as well is excellent with that. But yeah, overall, I really love this weapon. And I'm going to be using it a lot more now. So the next one is going to be Every Waking Moment. Now, personally, I probably would never use this role or this gun in general because it. I can tell you a lot of things. It's the way it shoots, the way it feels, it literally feels heavy. I don't know what it is. I wish I liked it because I do like the weapon model, but it's just, it doesn't feel right to me. And the reload speed is abysmal. I fucking hate it. It's honestly just all around. I will not be using this gun. The only reason I say it's valid is because this gun has a chance to drop with disruption break now if you're doing high-end mass like nightfalls and master level night nightmares then this is actually pretty good because disruption break if you dis if you put on the the anti berry rounds on the every, every waking moment and destroy the bubble on night then it actually does bonus damage which means you can probably one shot a uh, a night with Izanagi's burden so this is good for that this it's this is the only reason why I'm bringing it up and even then there's another SMG that drops with this and I use it way more so every waking moment is nice I like I said with this role I ended up getting outlaw and then uh disruption break and then full bore with light mag I this is not a bad role my my range is crazy this one I probably would use more and even my Masterwork is ranged, so I probably would use this, but it ha it needs a lot of work for me. Like the reload, like I said, is garbage. The rounds is at 29, and that is with a backup mag on it. Without it, it's 26. So even then, it's probably not even worth it at that point. So yeah, I that's my that's one of the biggest issues I have with SMGs. Is just the the ammo count is bad. They're, it's always been bad. That's why I like Callus Mini to or Recluse because with uh, with a mod on it, Recluse can go up to 40. So that's pretty good. So every working moment, like I said, 
I already said enough of it. Let's get on to the next SMG because I have one more SMG that I'm going to say. The Subjunctive is probably one of my favorite SMGs in this season and probably since Reckless, to be honest. This has been great. If only we can revert it back to like without the foliage, I would love this gun even more because I'm not going to lie, the foliage really does kill it for me. I wish like I would never use this to like showcase like how my hunter looks cool because it just the foliage really kills it for me it does not look good at all i've tried every shader the moss doesn't change the color everything it's it's bad but where it shines is it's a fun gun to use it's in the lightweight frame so it's going to be faster as well and it can drop with a lot of really crazy things i have surrounded and threat detector on on this roll with re ricochet rounds and corkscrew rifling and i I love this roll, especially for like it has threat detector and surrounded. Plus, with the surrounded uh, perk, it's awesome. Too bad surrounded got nerfed really hard. But this is still an interesting loadout. But this is actually the SMG that can roll with uh, disruption break. So I would just honestly say farm for the subjunctive that has disruption break, and you're pretty golden. Like it's 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 foul. Like it can do damage. It, it, I love this gun. It really is good. I have a role that has like swashbuckler and a threat detector that one immediately I was like oh that's gross because I'm already going to be close that's already going to be like every time you get something with a swashbuckler you're immediately going to be playing aggressive because you're trying to get that uh, five stack of swashbuckler with that threat detector reload stability and handling all go up and it stacks up to three times if I remember correctly so I love this role and I have other roles that are as good if not some are even better than this role so this is a gun you should definitely farm in this DLC because it's so good it's gonna be one of the SMGs that people are gonna want to be looking for the most but like I said I really wish that they gave us a skin that changed this this like the whole foliage I really wish they had a different skin for it because foliage does not do it especially for the next gun that I'm gonna talk about so the next gun is actually the adhortative so this is going to be the first uh pulse rifle the only reason i'm saying the adhortative is because it shoots beautiful it's an awesome gun it's part of the adaptive frame so it's well rounded and everything but what's really cool is that this drops with feeding frenzy and like a host of like really nasty shit as well so like i was saying before you can get this to you can get this with like Feeding Frenzy and Multi Kill Clip, which is like the god roll for me at least. Multi Kill Clip, Head Seeker, High Impact Reserves, Rampage, Dragonfly, which is the one I have on right now, Range Finder. Those are all good rolls to have on top of Feeding Frenzy. So this is definitely one of them that I've wanted. I really, really want to farm this. But again, it's the foliage. The foliage is just really killing it for me. I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool, but I wish it was an option. I wish we can go back to how it looked before. Hell, it would have been really cool if they gave us like a skin to have it look like, kind of like, cause this is representing how like the, the Vex look, like the future Vex are like this, all like mossy and foliage growing it would have been cool if they gave us like a past version of the vex weapons like this but just past version as skins would have been cool but that's not that type of video all around you need to farm this gun guys this gun is leaving same as the smg it's leaving for however long it's going to be out and i promise you this like feeding frenzy with multi-kill clip is gonna be the role i i want that role so badly so i will be farming for this a lot more and i'm gonna be farming for the smg as well so yeah that's enough about that i'm really gushing over this weapon because of the possibility of having feeding frenzy with multi-kill clip just really makes me oh really really moistens my loins so <laughs> let's get on to the next weapon which will be Outlast. Now, Outlast is actually a really, really interesting gun for me. I I really do love Outlast. It's one of those guns that is just amazing. If you have the skin for it, it's even better. But not only that, but it drops with Feeding Frenzy and like Snapshot Sights, Demolitionist, High Impact Reserves, Kill Clip, Rampage. 
again same thing with the last gun this gun could have really fucking filthy rolls if you get lucky like feeding frenzy or outlaw with rampage or Cl kill clip i feel like feeding frenzy with rampage will probably be the best choice and like outlaw outlaw a little, a little, a little outlaw with kill clip would be would be really dope but a role that i actually like to get is full foot all full auto trigger i really like this one for outlast and maybe like snapshot sites or demolitionist like it really at this point the one i have on right now is range finder and high impact reserves i think this is a really dope one i do wish i ended up getting like like i said feeding frenzy and rampage or kill clip those two are, would be really good for this but all around, I really do like this roll. Not only that, this one actually does have drop mag as well, so it'll be faster reloading. Overall, I love this pulse rifle. It feels great. Its range is stupid sometimes, and this is gonna be one of the SMGs that you're gonna be, or SMGs, this is gonna be one of the pulse rifles that you're gonna be using a, a lot, because it's really good. That's, that's all I can really say. The draw, like the rolls that you can get with this is filthy just by itself. So that's pretty much it. So for the next gun, we're going to be talking about the premonition. So I didn't want to put this because we don't, I, at least I haven't seen any, any good rolls for it, but obviously we can go to light GG to check out the rolls. And to my surprise, it has some pretty decent rolls. You can get like outlaw with kill clip or range finder with, I guess dragonfly unfortunately i got outlaw with head seeker now to some people this is probably a god roll especially since i got full bore and high caliber rounds like this it, like it should be a god roll and i should love this but i don't i really don't like head seeker i feel like it goes against what i usually do which is like try to get headshots this is like you have to get a body shot and then go for the headshot for me that's just stupid so for me, I, I hate this role. If I had gotten literally kill clip or even like maybe the demolitionist, I would have been like, that's a good role. I'm okay with this. But yeah, head seeker, not my choice. But other than that, it's a great, a great pulse rifle. I really do like this pulse rifle. It's high impact as well. So slow firing and high damage, which it does do high damage. But like I said, I think the roles are pretty okay there's nothing here that's gonna like be oh shit like that moment like it's not gonna be like oh it could drop with that it's literally like the first ones is outlaw firmly planted range finder and under pressure and then the last one's kill clip head seeker demolitionist and dragonfly so i guess the best one would probably be outlaw with kill clip that's never a bad role but it's a boring role to be fair to be honest so for me Probably range finder with the malicious would be an interesting role. But other than that, the only reason why I put it is because it feels good. It feels really good to shoot this gun. So the last one I'm going to be talking about, actually, there's a last bonus one, but the Kindle Orchid, actually. So the Kindle Orchid is a gun that I have a really shitty past with, considering that I actually got the God roll for this when this DLC was live. But because I didn't know that if you get a god roll and it gets sent to the postmaster, it, it like it gets a random roll so, or something. So my god roll actually went away because I didn't erase, I couldn't erase any guns. I liked all my guns, so I will never, I will never forget that because that was the moment that I was like, I give up on this gun. I give up trying to farm this shit. I fucking hate this gun. This gun can eat my cock. Like I was so mad, and my homie was there and he just started laughing because he's like. Oh shit, like you didn't get it? I'm like, nah, I'll just get it in the postmaster. He's like, no nah, man, it gets random rolled after that. And I got really fucking mad because if you guys don't know, the god roll for the Kindled Orchid is actually kill clip and a rampage. So I would have loved that. I would have slapped on a fucking rampage mod on that and just went to town. But now I gotta farm for this shit all over again, which I'm definitely gonna farm for it because I love how this gun feels and shoots. But. I don't want to farm it again, but I'm going to have to. So, but the, one of the cool things is this gun actually drops with a lot of cool things. So for the first roll of perks, you get outlaw, kill clip, range finder, triple tap, quick draw, surrounded and shield disorient, which is pretty cool. And then for the last one, you get rapid hit, rampage, ambitious assassin, 
explosive payload, threat detector, and disruption break. So two shield things. That's pretty interesting. So obviously the one I want is fucking kill clip and rampage, but because I couldn't get that, and it comes with drop mag, bro. I fucking hate my life. So if I were to choose which role I would probably want to get is probably be like kill clip with maybe rapid hit. That'd be interesting. But that's almost like outlaw and you have to like proc it three times. Nah, probably not. Probably explosive payload with kill clip would probably be weird. That'd be a weird role actually. But yeah, honestly, kill clip with rampage. That's the one I really want. So this is a really good gun. It's farmable. It's easily farmable actually. If you're caught up with the story at least it's easily farmable it's a good looking gun and it's a 140 so maybe people don't like 140s i'm actually partial to 140s i'm more into 150s but 140s i'm okay with as well but the gun looks nice i like for me at least the gun looks beautiful like it looks good shoots well and the perks that you can get on this is actually pretty varied it's really cool what you can get you can get like surrounded with threat detector Quick draw with rapid hit. Oh, that'd be gross. Triple tap with rapid hit. Uh, nah, nah, that's that's a bad. That would be weird. Range finder, range finder. Jeez, range finder with like. Actually, range finder with explosive payload would be pretty interesting. But yeah, there's a lot of rolls you can get with this, which is really cool. So that's probably going to be the last one that I would use. The only reason I probably wouldn't use this is because I have the Luna's Howl and I never want to not use that. But if I can get like, if I can get Kill Clip with Surrounded on my Kindle Orchid, then I mean, at that point, I mean, Magnificent Hollow is cool, but it's not as how it used to be. So if I can get that, oh, that'd be gross. It'd be so easy to maintain it. So that's pretty much it. The last one I am going to say is actually Recluse. You, Recluse is not getting that big of a nerf where people aren't going to use it anymore. Recluse is actually going to get a pretty, like, all you get it, like, essentially, they're taking out the precision damage from recluse on body shots so now people aren't just gonna like shoot the toe and that's immediately a headshot damage so now it's probably just gonna become like kind of like rampage where it's just base stat and then if you you do headshots then you do more damage so essentially you just have to hit your headshots and if you're any type of competent player you're already trying to get headshots with recluse so if you're a competent player that's already getting headshots with Recluse, this nerf really won't mean anything to you. So you're still able to use Recluse, but it won't shred through shields as hard as it is now. So essentially what I mean is it won't do precision damage on shields anymore because there is no precision damage, at least like when you're using anything else. So you won't be able to take down a solar shield faster than like another gun using the same thing or using the same burn so that's the only like drawback but at that point whatever doesn't matter to me so reckless will be the last one that i'll be using a lot to be honest it's not going to be a gun i'm not going to stop using because ultimately it's not like because oh it's op or this or that it's honestly because it has feeding frenzy and it's using a weapon model from destiny one year one or destiny two year one that i love which is from like the Black Mamba. And Master of Arms is dope. You can proc it off of any 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 kills or, or any weapon kills. So ultimately I will still be using the Recluse, but like I said, I, I'll be using probably, if I'm being real with you guys, Callus Mini Tool and Kindled Orchid are probably the, the two that I'm gonna use the most. And Subjunctive, if I get a really shit, like really just God, like God roll. Like if I get the best god roll I can with the subjunctive, I'll probably switch it out for the callus. To be honest with you, aside from like the callus for PvP. But other than that, let me know what you guys are going to be using after the, the nerf. I know a lot of people in PC mainly are still going to be using recluse because it's still going to be viable. But it does open a lot of weapons that you can just use now, and I really love that because more options is always a good thing. So let me know what you guys think about uh, what weapons you're going to be using in the comments below. Thank you all for watching up to this point if you guys are here. If you guys uh, like my videos, make sure to check them out, like, follow, subscribe, uh, all that good shit. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And other than that, like always, thank you so much for all the continued support, and I will see you guys later.